All right. <sighs> so, <sighs> even though my <laughs> my shining pearl stream had to go and end early, thankfully there's n there are no uh, people in my ceilings having to go and fix water damage this late at night. So I don't expect there to be any kind of <laughs> reoccurring issue like that here. But yeah, <clears throat> so, what time, uh, we explored around Zeus, we found out about the black orbment we've been carrying around, and it, uh, more or less is an EMP that shuts off any orbments within, uh, close enough range of it. So, we're trying to figure out what makes it tick by cracking it open, and while Professor Russell the sort of father of the orbital revolution for liberal is off working for it uh we've his granddaughter tina russell is with us as we've basically escorted her to a little small hot springs town so that she can repair it which yeah so we just arrived after going and doing a whole bunch of side quests running all over the area of the region of zeus here so, uh, yeah, lots of fun times to be had. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, head on inside. This is probably not the right building, but I can at least buy something. Oh, fluffy spring egg recipe. Okay. Good to know. If my husband wants to spend his time training, that is his choice. I'm sure it's sure not mine. I here I was hoping to have a long relaxing soak too. Oh well, I guess I'll just do some shopping and then have an exotic dinner. Yep, it's lukewarm, definitely not hot uh, uh, about these springs right now. I heard the pumps are broken and we can't use the baths. It's a shame, but then again, it's also the will of videos. God said you shall not take a hot bath today. What is this other place? Probably just a shed. Okay. The Maple Leaf Inn. Hi, Mrs. Mao. Oh, hello, Tita. It's uh, I'm so glad to see you here. Mr. Murdoch just got in touch with me a little while ago. Is it true that the professor is making you do the repairs while he's off doing Adius knows what? It, it, it's not like that. He, he was planning to come here until I said something about it. Ah, well, bless your heart, child. But you know you could spoil that old... You spoil that old coot, don't you? He's always been the sort of com to completely lose himself in his research. Give it half the chance. <laughs> Energetic old lady, old granny, isn't she? Well, she obviously knows the professor. And who might you be? Oh, um, let me introduce you. This is Estelle, and this is Joshua. They're the, with the Bracers Guild, and they're looking out for me. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Oh, well, what you, do you know? Please, do pardon me. I'm the owner of the Maple Leaf Inn. You can call me Mrs. Mao. I am not a demon lord, even though that's what my name means. <laughs> Russell and I have been friends since we were knee-high to a grasshopper. Tita here is almost like my own granddaughter. Oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, um, right, uh, Mrs. Mao? Is the orbital pump really broken? I'm afraid so, dear. I think the 40-year-old beast may finally be on its last legs. Uh, well, I, I wanted to replace it at some point anyway. Can you handle it, Tita? You betcha. Okay, just a second. Just go north of the village square, up the hill. The pump shits right there. I really appreciate it. All right. It's... Oh, yeah, okay, so... This is like, is there... I, I couldn't remember if there's like, a food area there to get a recipe or not. But yeah, let's go work on the pump up the hill. And the shed... Yep, here we go. The door is locked. So, this is a pump shed? That's right. Uh, it's, it sends hot water to the inn and the well in the town square. Well, let's try the key. Used pump shed key. Wow, so this is the pump, huh? You'd never know it was so old from how well maintained it is. <laughs> well, I think my grandpa comes in at least once a year to keep it running. Forty years ago, people didn't really know much about orbments. 
And so Grandpa created this orbital pump to show people what the difference the orbital technology could make to their lives. <laughs> okay, so the place, this place probably has some sentimental value for your grandfather then, I guess. And that's why he's kept in such good condition. Right. Let's see. First up is a systems check. Uh, if, if that's okay, then we make sure there are no problems with the impeller or pipes. Um, can we do anything to help? Oh, it's fine. This is just a one-person job anyways. You guys should go have fun and relax at the inn. It might be the ca uh, cavitation, the water hammer. Mm, what to check next? Aha! It's a surging problem. I, I kind of figured we wouldn't be of any use. Apparently not. Maybe we should just take our advice and wait then. Hmm, got my tools, my kit. Gotta fixy, fixy, fix it. <laughs> She's just like, I'm in the zone now. The door is locked. There is no going beyond the hill, for there is nothing that lies beyond. Ah. <sighs> The Maple Leaf Inn. I feel like... I feel like this was definitely in... Uh, text was definitely in Japanese beforehand. And, got, and then got shifted. <laughs> I feel like I've seen signs like that in, in the game. Uh, when I was playing later entries in Japanese. Hello again. How's Tita doing? <laughs> She's hard at work. We figured we'd probably just get in her way. So we'll stay here. Ah! <laughs> Well, you just might be right at that. She's almost as talented as Russell himself. Hard to argue with, uh, with that after watching her work. I'm just amazed that she's working at the Central Factory at her age. And no matter what, she's always so sweet. Always has a smile for everyone. But get her in front of a machine and she'll tinker with it for hours. She loves it. Ah, she's such a fine girl. But still. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, Mrs. Mao! Welcome back, Ed. What's going on to you all frothing at the mouth? I, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Did the lady from Gransel leave? Ah, a lady from Gransel? Oh, the guest from yesterday. She went for a walk, but she hasn't come back yet. I thought so. <sighs> this is awkward. What, isn't she in the village? Um, uh, well, actually... I saw her by the village gate. She said she was going to go and take in the scenery or something. Out in the plains? She'd have to be a fool to go where all the monsters are. You complete idiot! Why didn't you stop her? I, I, I did. I mean, I tried. She just wouldn't listen. I, I don't know how seriously she took what I said, but I'm worried. Um, pardon me. What? Are you new guests? Do you remember that, uh, what time it was you saw the lady by the gate? Um, I think it was right around noon. At least that was w about when I got back. Noon. Yeah, I think we can catch up to her. We should get going before it's too late. Huh? Well, we're bracers, if you couldn't tell by looking. We'll head out into the plains and find this girl. Don't worry about it. No kidding. Well, strike a luck. Yes, please. You have no right to even ask our help. But fine, the guest says to you is paramount. I hate to impose on you two, but please look after my guest. Will do. We'll be going now. Uh, let's let's heal first, just to be safe. Yeah, I feel like in a world where monsters are prevalent and like everywhere. You have to be really dumb to be like, oh, it's okay. Now, let's see. The plain road is so wide. Where should we go search? Supposedly, she was going to take in the scenery. So, it's likely that she wandered away from where the road's paved. Oh, man. this is That's going to be really safe, isn't it? But, hey. No biggie. Uh, let's, let's find her and bring her back quick. Hopefully, with all the, her pieces intact. I immediately headed back into the town. Good job. All right, so um, I'm good. I think it's like over here. Mm, no, 
However, there is an army of sheep waiting to invade. Ah, uh, no! Someone help me! Did you hear that? Whatever it is, it's not far. Adios, Daddy! Mommy! Yeah, Neil, help! Oh, wait, no, it's... <laughs> Neil! <laughs> that sound... That voice sounded suspiciously familiar. I think you're probably right, but let's hurry. C come on, puppies. Uh, can't we just talk this out? I, I don't think I taste that very good. I mean, I sleep at least 12 hours a day, and I eat lots of veggies, and my skin's all smooth. Oh, wait, does being healthy make you yummier? E e uh, if I'd known this was coming, I would have at least made sure to get paid in advance and have a nice meal. Huh? You too. <laughs> well, just as expected. No need to worry, Dorothy. What, what were your names again? <sighs> yeah, it's the same do old Dorothy, all right. We're Joshua and Estelle of the Bracers Guild. <laughs> I, I was just teasing. Fancy meeting you two here. Hey, Dios, please give me the strength to not leave her to the beasts. Estelle, on your guard. Alright, let's see. I think my best bet here would be to open up an aerial around Estelle. Let her keep them all gathered together. And then... Let's do... No. Uh, Stone Impact. Just so we can make sure we still get at least get somebody. If they move too much. Yes, Dorothy, please stay away. Alright, that's a good chunk of craft points. And crit on the stone impact. Nice. I feel like I could... <clears throat> I need a circle uh, attack at this point. Like, with crafts. This would be perfect. Five of them. Even better. And we got a stun. Hurricane to hit them all. And that does it. Almost. I'm, I, I, I cannot read. Say cheese. Dog is not impressed. That dude literally has one HP. And I missed. Screw it. It's literally for one HP, but I'd rather spend the craft points than lose it from dying. Yeah. Estelle and Joshua, like, what you mean, name it? Their AoEs are very specific. Oh, good. Level up from a- er, uh, heal from a level up. Phew, I don't know how we chased them off, but we did it. Did they look familiar to you? Yep, they're the- they're the monsters who attempted uh, to attack the- the checkpoint on the mountain pass. I wonder what they're doing here. Oh, how lovely! You bracers are very impressive. Estelle and Joshua, it's been such a long time, hasn't it? I would never would have thought I'd see you here. Do you think maybe we were destined to meet again? <sighs> Fate is a fickle mistress, all right. So, uh, Dorothy, are you staying at the Inn in Elmo by any chance? Why, why, yes! Why, uh, hey, how did you know? Joshua and Estelle explained that the owner of Elmo Inn had requested that they bring her back safely. Oh, I see. Well, isn't that just terrible? Uh-huh. As if you care about what anyone else's problems. 
So, what brings you out here? A little cross-country hiking, maybe? Tis, tis, tis. You mean you don't even know that much? <laughs> I see that you haven't gotten any more insightful in our time apart. What? The answer is actually that I'm looking for a photograph that the newspaper needs for a special edition. Oh, and by the way, Neil's the one who assigned me this task. I see, so it's work. <sighs> okay, but why would you need to be looking for that here? Oh, forget it. This wears me out faster than fighting any monsters ever did. Ah, poor Estelle, did you get hurt in battle? Pain, pain, go away. Come again some other day, or not at all. Would be better, I guess. I'm not injured. I'm just really aggravated at your utter obliviousness. Wow, it's rare to see someone get under Estelle's skin this badly. Estelle, why don't we head back to Elmo? Maybe it's the son fixing the pump. <sighs> yeah, let's let's go back. And I have a feeling that Dorothy will be coming back with us. Huh? But I want to stay and take more pictures. We are going now. Scary. Don't make me run straight into a mob of wolves again. I'll do it. See that snake, Dorothy? You could be at lunch. Hold on a second. Let me just... Uh... No, here we go. Uh... Man of Stone standing in silence with a mountain village pond. And you show Uh... No. I'm trying to think. In terms of mountain village, it would be Elmo. But is there a man here? Oh! Looks like there's steam coming out. Hey, you're right! Looks like the repair worked. <laughs> now I can, we can finally use a spa! Yay! Life is good again! Uh, kind of overstating things a bit, aren't you? Do you really like the spa that much? <laughs> well, yeah. There's absolutely nothing finer than a tall a glass of a fruity milk after a hot bath. Now I'm going to go ahead and get in. Bye, Dorothy. Oh, I just remembered. Guys, thanks for coming and helping me earlier. I have all my hands and toes and you in bits because of you two. <laughs> now I can go and give those bits to my favorite stream. Oh. <laughs> uh. Dorothy is definitely the kind of character that's just living in her own world all the time. You don't have to thank us for having a good timing. Man, she's such a ditz. <laughs> well, that's Dorothy for you. Anyway, let's get back to the pump shed. Okay. Tina's probably still there. <clears throat> I feel like every stream it's like a roulette to see what directions my voices go and migrate towards. <laughs> hmm. Are you done with the repairs? Oh, uh, hi guys. He, yeah, I just finished. I just have to make sure the hot water's going where it's supposed to. <laughs> it's okay, the wa the well, <clears throat> the well in the plaza has hot water. So what was the problem? Um, the pump itself wasn't the issue. The, the crankshaft on the impeller was corroded and broken. I switched out with a rust-resistant one, so everything should be fine now. <laughs> cool, nice work. Shall we head to, uh, return to the inn to let the hostess know? Okay. Tita, you missed a battle. Send help. Oh. I forgot you can go behind these. For absolutely no 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 particular reason, but you can do it. Ooh, there is a restaurant. Any other dishes? Fruity milk, specialty eggnog, and monster sushi. Eastern food eat, eaten raw. Be sure to check the freshness date. Very true. I bought a couple of the cutest plates today without even thinking about it. There are still things to see in the souvenir shop, too. 
Uh, the minute I take my eyes off her, my wife goes scurrying on to the gift shop. There's nothing wrong with the shopping itself, but I wish she'd show a little restraint. Thank you, Tita. The pump's pumping like it was just installed yesterday. <laughs> really? Please think nothing of it. Well, haven't you grown into such a well-mannered young lady? And thank you, too, for helping us out with the guests as well. You guys know everything, it seems. <laughs> yeah, I guess we do. What happened? A little bracer business. You two have my thanks. As a way to pay you back, I'd like you to stay here free. No way, really? Ma'am? We didn't tell my grandfather we were going to stay here. Nonsense. I heard from Russell a little earlier. He said the job would take him until tomorrow to finish, and he said if you could stay here. He asked if you could stay here. Grandpa said that? <laughs> what a sweet old man. Well, if he said that, then I'm afraid we have no choice but to impose for the night. Come right in. You can put your things in the yuzu room on the second floor. It'll be some time before dinner, so go take a dip in the hot springs. You want us to take a bath before dinner? I thought people took their baths before they went to sleep. What are you talking about? This is a hot springs resort. People expect you to jump in the bath in the morning, at lunch, whenever. <laughs> It'd be okay with three baths a day. Or rather, I'd be okay with three baths a day. R really? Well, I like baths as much as anybody, but it sounds a little bit, uh, it sounds a little bit much for me. <laughs> Shall we go put our bags in the rooms then? The user room. Uh, is this one? It is. <laughs> wow, nice room. Indeed. M Mrs. Mal told me that she was born off to the east. She moved to Liberal when her family with her family when she was little. The village has a lot of people from that same area. I thought this village had some kind of unusual vibe to it. I'll bet the food here must be really good. Yeah. But before that, why don't we check out the spa we've been hearing about? <laughs> Hell yeah! Did you want to join us, Tina? Uh, okay. We can go after we put away our luggage. Yeah. The East we're referring to is the Republic. Uh, the Calvert Republic, which is sort of like, uh, as I've mentioned before, it's sort of like the US, but also combined with uh, Asia. Like a lot of, like... Uh, of it's like most of the stuff that's like oh yes here is you know Japan things comes from Calvert or people from Calvert and whatnot same with like the Asian well just Asian things in general but like <clears throat> but yeah okay the luggage is secure so where's the spa now oh there's a separate bath behind the building it's a big open air bath <laughs> you mean it's basically outside then Ooh, that sounds so neat Let's go! I do want to go and take a dip in an open air bath at some point in my life. Wow, it's already dark. <laughs> look, look at that eastern top garden. Very nice. Oh! Estelle, Joshua, hi! Dorothy? Did you come here to soak in these heavenly waters too? I just love it here. It's so spacious and comfortable. I just wish staying in the hot wire didn't make me dizzy after a while. How have you been here this whole time? Oh yeah, I just feel so good. Oh, and who are you, little girl? I don't think we've ever met before. Uh, I'm, I'm Tita. It's nice to meet you. Tita, huh? You can call me Dorothy. I'm a photographer for a magazine in Gransel. <laughs> really? Wow, that must be a great job. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh, right, Estelle, you guys are staying in the inn, right? Why don't we have dinner together? Uh, so sure, sounds okay. I'm, like, going hoarse. Hold on a second, let me drink some more water. <clears throat> I feel like... What should we name it? When I when I do like Tita's voice, with the way I'm like putting my mouth and like straining it, there's like a specific spot in like the back of my mouth that ends up being like like a little uncomfortable uh, after doing it for a super long time. <laughs> Would you mind waiting for us? 
sure, I'll have some fruity milk in the meantime. I'll see you guys soon. I wonder, is this the thing that they're talking about? Probably can't check it out right now. Oh, wait, never mind. Found a package wrapped in oiled paper. Inside is the air woodpecker. Well, what do you know? There it is. Come on. Out. Oh, there we go. Let's see, this is the door to the baths, right? Yep, this is the woman's bath, and that's the men's. Oh, oh, okay, they're separated. <laughs> How silly of me, I need to change my clothes. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> I believe this is goodbye for now. Okay, see you later. S excuse us. Ah, that feels so good. Way better than I ever thought it would. It's not like Dorothy, but... Or I'm not like Dorothy, but... I guess I could see you getting seriously addicted to this. <laughs> yeah, I already am. When I was little, Grandpa used to always bring me here. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, where does that door go? Oh, it leads to the open air bath I was talking about before. It's huge! I bet I could. it could fit ten people at once. Wow, cool. Whew, I feel like I could just dissolve into this. All this traveling has worn me out. Have you been on the have you been doing all your traveling on foot? Why not take an airship? <sighs> For training, I guess. My dad always said it was super important. You mean Mr. Cassius? Yeah, Cher was another of my stu of, uh, another student of my dad's. He told her all the time that she should travel by foot. You should see the places you should protect with your own eyes, or some such. Well, cool. Yeah, he was big on impressive speeches, but he knew how to back them up when he had to. <sighs> I wonder where he is now. Estelle? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get all gloomy on you. I'm in training too, and it's not like worrying will do me any good. I guess all I can do is have faith in him. Faith. Hmm. Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, n no. N no, it's okay. Oh, yeah. I had something I wanted to ask you. Something? Okay, Dish, you can ask me anything. Um, er, er well, are you and Joshua married? Uh, eh? Uh, I'm sorry, I must have spaced out. What, what about me and Joshua? I, I was wondering if, if you and Joshua were married? What, what? What? Why would you ask me such a thing? Uh, but but you have the same last name. It, you don't look like you each other at all, so I didn't think you were siblings. Uh, oh, you don't look at all because we're not blood related. Our, our names are the same because Joshua was adopted. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had it all wrong. Boy, did you ever. Besides, he and I are only both 16. Marriage is a subject for way off into the future. R right. I, I guess you wouldn't get married so young, no matter how much you love each other, huh? <sighs> I'm telling you, Joshua and I are not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're just family. R really? What do you mean, really? <sighs> uh -uh, sweetie. Do you get that kind of vibe from watching us or something? What kind of vibe? Um, like, like we're together, as in together, t together. Like, like lovey dovey, hot, can't keep our hands off each other, together. Uh, well, well, no, but you're always with each other, and you're comfortable with each other, and you almost finish each other's sentences. Well, I can't argue with that. But don't you just think you could, uh? But don't you think you, that could just as easily be how family and close friends act? And anyway, even if we ever did feel like that towards each other... And oh 
bad thoughts, bad thoughts. Why am I getting so embarrassed by these questions? I've always handled them fine before. Huh? Estelle, your face is all red. <laughs> it's nothing. No reason at all. I mean, it's because the hot wire is so effective. Yeah. It's just getting my blood bo going. And staying in too long can make you dizzy. Oh, okay. Well, then they're an open air bath here. I suddenly want to try it out. Let's go. Uh, right. By the way, Estelle, the open bath is u unisex. Okay, settle down, heart. I hear you. What the hell was this all about? I've never even thought about Joshua like that before. <sighs> ah, stop it, Estelle. This isn't like you. Ah, this feels great. <laughs> I love the bath. I love that the bath is open to the outside. Hmm, it's big enough to stretch out and relax in. You do know that you're not meant to go swimming, though. You see me doing butterfly strokes, buddy? Huh? Uh, hi, Estelle. I got in here a little while before you. Uh, it's kind of awkward to be around you like this, though. Uh, but hey, the hot springs works even better than I expected. It's good for injuries, and it really helps work out any muscle stiffness. Just the right idea for a bracer, really? Uh, 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 I... You staying silent like this is making a, this a bit awkward, you know? Uh, I, I, uh... That's why you always double-check these things. That shriek startled me so badly I almost flew through the ceiling! I almost suffered through a heart attack, and all for what? A false alarm? I I'm sorry. Listen, the open air bath is unisex. Is there not a sign clearly saying that in the dressing room? Um, I think we what she's trying to say is that she didn't notice it. First of all, getting caught starkers once in a while isn't such a big deal that you need to go screaming your lungs out. And I've always heard it was it said that woman's skin gets prettier when you show it off. Uh, really? Bunch of crap! I wasn't out to show off anything for anyone. Well, whatever, then. Why not bake up and just try and enjoy the bass? This place was intended for family members to get to be able to bathe together from the get-go. Now I'll, I'm off. <sighs> and suddenly I'm exhausted. <sighs> Joshua, this is your fault. How'd you figure that? I mean, it wasn't me who shrieked like a banshee. Nor did I flake out and completely miss a sign in the dressing room. You, you shut up. You think you're so cute. Well, you're not. Oh, is that how it is? Well, fine. It's not as if it means anything to me whether you think I'm cute or not. Well, what did you say? I'm making a point. Looking at me and screaming the way you did. I never would have dreamed that you would react like that. Well, well I, I, I ju just wasn't... It was bad timing, okay? I, I didn't mean, mean that I'm disgusted at the being, at the thought of being in here with you or anything. No, no, I wouldn't want you to put yourself out. I'll just be on my way, so you two can be alone. P put myself out? I, I can't believe you sometimes, you jerk. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> hey, don't you dare laugh, Tita. I still don't get why I'm the jerk, but whatever. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to embarrass you. It's okay, I'm sorry for laughing. It's just, I'm a little envious. Envious of what? Why? I don't have any siblings, so I don't have anyone to fight with or make up with. Grandpa's always nice and never mean to me. Mostly because my mom and dad couldn't be there. Huh? You don't mean that they're... They've been out of the country working as orbital engineers for a long time. I guess they're somewhere that the orbital technology hasn't really hit yet. I'm not sure how many years it's been since they last came to Zeus. I had no idea. You must have been really lonely. N not really. I have Grandpa, at least. And everyone at the Central Factory is always super nice to me. But I still get a little jealous when I look at you two. <laughs> it's, I'm probably just wishing for something that I know I'll never have. Tita. <sighs> I've got an idea. Huh? Hmm? From now on, I'll be your big sister. And Joshua can be your big brother. What? 
<sighs> Always with the grand sweeping gestures. Oh, come on, are you seriously complaining? <laughs> no, I feel the same way you do. I have no objections, as long as Jesus is okay with the idea. Huh? Uh, thank you, both of you. I don't know what I can say. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> well, that sells it, then. Treat us like, just like you would a normal brother and sister. I'll give you permission to make fun of Joshua as much as you like. That's right, Stell's fair game to make fun of, too, in that case. You can talk to us just like when you talk to the professor, like family. But is that really okay? I'll try, I, I promise. Okay? Okay! So this is a new beginning for all of us. Growing the family. Man, they're so late. Oh, I drank too much fruity milk, now my stomach's all messed up. I kept waiting and waiting. After getting out of the spa, Stone Company tried to soothe Dorothy's annoyance with some of the inn's finest Eastern cuisine. This was followed by an enjoyable game of cards, after which they returned to the spa. And so, the evening wore on comfortably. Okay, Mrs. Mao. We really appreciate everything. <laughs> I'm just glad to hear you were able to relax a little. And Tita, you certainly ha seem to have enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Is it that obvious? You all seem closer than you were yesterday. Must be the magic of the springs. By the way, hap what happened to the girl with the glasses? Um, I think she's still in bed. We called for her, but she didn't answer, and we didn't want to barge in. When Dorothy does wake up, please give her our regards. Certainly. Tita, I'd like for you to tell Russell something for me when you ha see him next. Tell him that I, s I said he needs to focus on the rest of his life beyond all the 24-7 research. <laughs> okay, I will. Take care of yourself, Mrs. Mao, and you need to come visit, too. <laughs> sure thing, Han. You all welcome back here anytime. The baths are always waiting. You can count on it. <laughs> Absolutely. The food is great, too. Ah, I feel rejuvenated. And we were, uh, and we never would have come at all if the pump hadn't needed repairing. So I guess we owe our thanks to you, Tita. <laughs> but I didn't do anything. I should be thanking you for everything yesterday. It was pretty fun. I'm glad to hear it. I guess it means we're even. Yep, I guess it does. Shall we head return to these then? The professor might be done with t uh, taking apart the black orbit by now. Oh yeah, we still have to deal with that. I'm co I'd completely forgotten. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> so, this is the unique feature of the hot springs. If you may notice, everybody's craft points are maxed out. This is a running thing in the series where hot springs, uh, whenever you rest at them, give increase your uh, craft points to sometimes they're 100, sometimes they're max. So yeah, this is definitely a place that while you're in Zeus, it's like, oh, I need to go and rest. Let me run all the way back to, to Elmo and get, <laughs> get my craft points back. It's really nice. So it's... It's one of those things that, like, I feel helps make this region extra special. One sec. Alright. Wait! Hi, Dorothy. You finally decided to rejoin the world of the living? <laughs> no fair, you guys. How come I get left behind? Huh? Didn't you say you were sticking around to get some more shots for a story? Huh? I, I did. Whatever. I just hate being left out. Don't you, Lil T? Um, are, are you talking to me? <sighs> Where'd that come from? I just wanted to give you a nickname. You don't like it? Uh, no. no it, it's alright. Awesome. Thanks, Lil T. <sighs> You really are lost in your own little world. Oh well, you can come back with us to Zeus if you want. <laughs> now you're talking. Okay then, want to give this whole leaving thing another shot? Well, there we go. Another shot we'd be given. Thanks, <laughs> Oh, ah, very good. 
Oh, hey! Hello, ladies. I was just wondering if you, uh, if I could ask. Huh? Wow, he's huge. I it's a bear. A bear? Um, okay. You don't need to worry about me. All I want are some directions. You wouldn't happen to know where Elmo's hot springs are, would you? Oh, um, well, we just came from there, actually. It's just down the road south from here. Ah, I see. Thank you for the information. Oh, you. Hmm? Ha, ah, could it be? Is it possible? Is what possible now? Oh, sorry. It's nothing important. Take care. Goodbye, Mr. Unique Character Design. Huh, wow. <laughs> Man of few words, I guess. His clothes look Eastern, though, so I figure he must be foreign. Well, Zeus is right on the border with the Calvert Republic. He might have come from there. I bet you're right. Mrs. Mao told me that uh, about people who live uh, way off in the East. Oh, right. I think Kilika's from the East, too. And he was huge! I was super surprised. <laughs> I guess he does kind of look like a bear. But he doesn't act like any bear I've ever seen. He looks like he studies martial arts. How could you tell? Oh, I'm a martial artist, too. He wasn't just big. He looked like he trained his body like crazy. <laughs> Indeed, and his legs were like tree trunks. He must have been a master, just like Estelle read about. My big, beefy boy. Yeah, that's not the last time we see we see our boy over there. I'm like wanting to make sure I don't say too much. <laughs> huh? What's the matter? Maybe I'm just losing it, but I thought I heard something. You're not losing it, at least not because of that. I heard something too, f but far off, from the direction of the factory. What? Oh no, what What do you mean? I don't know, we'll just have to go and see. Something's wrong, but let's play the chill music. Oh no! Huh? The building's on fire! I thought it was a goner. Well, you're right. You're all right. That's what's important. Okay, that's every section, right? It's all the full-timers, at least. Chief? Ah, it's you. Back from Elbow. What's with all the commotion? There was some kind of gas leak inside the building. Everything from the fifth floor down is full of fumes. Don't tell me there was a fire. I doubt it, since the extinguishers would have gone off. That... Doesn't mean I've been able to. Uh, that doesn't mean I've been able to figure out why this is happening, though. Excuse me, Grant Chief. Where's my grandpa? Ah, oh, that's right. Mr. Hazel, is everyone accounted for? Well, we're fully staffed today, but Professor Russell isn't among those evacuated. Oh, uh, what? You mean he's still in there? Let us handle this, sir. We'll go figure it out. Uh, thank you. I'm going to. What? Tita. I know a lot about the central factory. I, I can show them the way. Tita. Okay, come with us then. Stay close. But if it gets too dangerous, you have to come back here, alright? Okay. Um, would it be okay if I came with... No. Sorry, but we need you to stay back. Jeez, thanks for taking the time to think about it. But hey, what can you do? Just be... But hey, what can you do? Just, just be careful, okay? The professor is still in there. He's probably in the third floor workshop. I checked there first. Got it. We'll be off then. Rush into... Ah, so much smoke. Huh? Not so bad that you can't breathe, though. This haze is probably a smoke screen from something, for something else. There must be a snow smoke canister nearby. Huh? But why would someone leave like... Uh, why would that? Why would some something like that even... I can't speculate on why. But if we can put out the canister, the smoke should clear up eventually. Or quickly enough. Got it. Find it, put it out. Professor Russell's in the third floor workshop, right? Uh, yeah, at least I think so. Grandpa sometimes gets so wrapped up in his research that he loses sight of what's going on around him. Well, let's get to the third floor then. Hey Joshua, that's... Looks like a smoke canister. 
like the one the Sky Bandits used before. Joshua quickly smiled to the smoke canister. Phew, the smoke's cleared up. That was so cool. There was probably more canisters like this around. Let's find them and take them all apart. Okay. Never good. I think the elevator doesn't work. The automatic door isn't opening. Is the orbital power shut off? No, it looks like it's operational. Someone's probably using the elevator. Could that someone possibly be Professor Russell? Let's hope not, since it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Either way, the only way we're getting upstairs is via the emergency stairway. Yeah, you're right. Alright, besides, if this were a fire, you definitely wouldn't want to be using uh, any sort of, of elevator. Alright, uh, canister... Over there. <clears throat> okay, yeah, there, it's okay. I'm surprised the smoke canister from over there was spreading up, considering there's a closed door. So let's clear out the other floors first. I probably just killed those tomatoes, to be perfectly honest. They were murdered. That's what that was. Okay, so it must be inside. But where? Is it coming from the elevator? anything just look up just google where are the smoke canisters in game to the third. Okay. Grandpa, we, we've got a big... Uh, here. So why is the machine still on? We should turn it off. Phew. Where could Grandpa have gone? It's not just him. The Black Orbit's gone too. You don't suppose. Ha! So here you are. Agate! What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. I heard about the disturbance here, so I came to check it out. Lo and behold, you've got here before me. Wonders never cease. You incompetents keep sticking your nose where they don't belong. Someone's got to come and cut them off. <sighs> You're, are you ever not a jerk? Um, I, I guess you know him? His name is Agate. Uh, he's a senior bracer. Huh? Hold on a second. What's a kid doing here? 
I get glared at Tita. Hey, she hasn't done anything, so lay off. <laughs> bah. So damn much as I could say, but I'll hold off for now. So what the hell's going on? Here's the situation. Joshua explained to Agate how Professor Rosal had gone missing. Smoke canisters, huh? Certainly explains the stench around here. We ain't got time to waste, though. We gotta find the Professor and fast. Right. Acknowledged. Grandpa. Welcome to the party once again. You're still higher level than us. You know, there's something about, like, his face that is very... That very much reminds me of, uh... Just that particular era. Like, that older era of, uh, anime art. Alright. Let's check out... The, uh... The, the fifth floor again. Oh, no, it's cleared now. Maybe? Okay, all the smoke is gone. Remembering off the top of my head where I'm supposed to be going right now. Just head back up? No. Okay. That's all we can do right now is just check the floors. is now working. Or rather, someone's still in it? There's something down in the, in the basement, was there? I'm trying to remember, because, like... Oh, here we go. Hey, th what's the door doing open? Sorry about the wait, I've secured the last objective. Alright, let's get out of here, then. Are you set? That voice! Come on, it's come from the elevator! Aha! It's them! Grandpa! Uh, I get Krosner. Oh crap, I gotta go! Hold it right there! 
Get back here! Trap, they just got so close. We almost had them. No, we, why'd they take Grandpa? Let's take the emergency stairs down. It looks like they're trying to get out of the factory. Yeah, if they go that way, there's no way that we'll... Uh, yeah, if they go get away, there's no way we'll, uh, to know if they take the tunnel or just lose us in town. Move your butts, kids! Don't have to tell me twice! Do I, do I have a heal ornament? Still, I do. There you go. You are now perfect. Uh, and instead of that... Uh, don't mind me, I'm just taking a moment. Alright, uh... Move. I get, how do you not have your full thing, slots unlocked? Heal is basically like a necessity for him though. Look, it's open! So they did come down here. Which means they probably left at the main entrance. But with all these people out there, how do they intend to get away unseen? We'll worry about that later. Come on, we've got to catch up to them. Hey, they're back! Good, you're alright. When the soldiers showed up, I thought something serious had happened. S soldiers Hold on a second. Soldiers, not guys dressed in black? No idea what you meant. They were dressed in blue and with m white military uniforms. Polite enough, but... I get the feeling they didn't come from the airlet in the checkpoint. They definitely seem to be like Royal Guardsmen to me. I thought they looked so cool that I snapped a p off a picture. Royal Guardsmen, huh? The ones that who took Mayor Dalmore. Oh, why would they be here? Um, they weren't with my grandpa, were they? What, with the professor? No, they didn't have it. They did have some kind of really big baggage with them, though, but... Oh, well, it had to be them. No doubt about it. But they changed into military uniforms at the elevator. Crap. It's the oldest trick in the book. They pulled it off. Wait, wait, wait. What? Just a minute. What does this mean? We'll fill you in later. Which way do the soldiers go? The, towards the town. They moved like they had a purpose. We're going after them. No way. I'm letting them get away. And so a stone company split up to search the streets of these. But in the end, they could find no trace of the men who had taken the professor. The incident was, which was reported to the Royal Army, and the unit was sent to east for the stronghold at the lake to aid the investigation. I understand the particulars. Nevertheless, this is major. This would appear to be a clear-cut case of terrorism. In Adios's name, terrorism! Using smoke canisters to create a diversion while abducting the kingdom's greatest mind. To say nothing of the theft of the Orbital Calculator, which contains some of our country's most cutting-edge technology. This deed will not go unpunished. Mm. So what kind of plan does the military have up its sleeves? We already have Air Letton, the Wolf Fort, and sold at Army East Road, and uh, Sanctaheim uh, Gate performing inspections. There's no way the culprits are getting out from the Zeus region. Wow, you really mean business? <laughs> well, Intel's job is to help uh, us mobilize as quickly and efficiently as possible in times of emergencies. I do have one question, though. What do you think about the terrorists having masqueraded as Royal Guardsmen? Well, yes. It's very unsettling. Having said that, Miss Dorothy Hi Hyatt? Uh, what? Who, me? You took photos of the criminals making their escape, did you not? We would greatly appreciate it if you'd give us that photo course to be processed as evidence. What? what? But, but this is my big scoop! Royal Guardsmen are the pride of the bros on military. A photo of their involvement in such an incident is a very serious, sensitive matter. I also must ask that you not post any news about this until we know more. This is in, in order to protect the honor of Her Royal Majesty, the Queen. This isn't a formal request, but the entirety of the, our Royal Army forces would greatly appreciate it. Uh, fine, I guess. Once you figure out the, what you need, the, oh, you'll give it back, right? Dorothy reluctantly headed, handed over the photo court exposure to Captain Amathea. Thank you for your cooperation. I hate to ask this, but it would be also appreciated if the bracers would cease their invest. Ain't happening. I've been chasing these guys in black since way before any of this started. Military honor or not, I got no reason to stop now. 
<sighs> you leave me a choice, please proceed with your investigation. That said, this is with the condition that you report your findings back to the intelligence at Fort Layson. Fine with me. And if you learn anything new, you report it to the Zeus branch, okay? Very well. And with that, I must take my leave. Bum bum ba. That was a little intense. She's Colonel Richard's right-hand man, er, uh, woman? Yeah, it looks like she came here as the Colonel's direct representative in the investigation. Eh, <sighs> well, I'm just fine, I, I, I'm just fine with not rubbing elbows with the military. Anyway, looks like the culprits are hiding out somewhere in Zeus. The sooner we report it into the guild, the sooner we can start searching out outside the town. Yeah, uh, wait, wait a second, how come you're not telling us to n not follow you this time? Because I can use you. Why else would I, would I, would I, why else would I want you along? <sighs> You're a real peach, you know that? No big deal, though. It's just more training for us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, just start. Just stay alert. We're gonna go now, Chief. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Take care. Do you want to go in order... Uh, do what you have to in order to save the professor. Um... Mm. So, let's see here, um, I feel like Tita, like, is supposed, should, like, be in the back. She just seems like the per kind of person to, like, I hang out in the, uh, like, I'm in the back, I'm the tiniest one. Also, uh, yeah, those battle positions are fun. Alright, let's, let's fix this. Can we, can we give Agate... There we go. Congratulations, Agate, you are now full-fledged bracer. <laughs> Alright, um, so, Fire Quartz. Alright, I wanna, I'll exchange Strike here for something else. Um, I actually think I'll go with Blind. Yeah. Cause she's got AOE pot a power, which is really useful. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm going with hit. That's basically doubling uh, your chance of landing an attack. So, but yeah, <clears throat> so heal, the heal courts make it so that you heal uh, HP as you walk for that particular unit. And since Agatha Shtick is using a craft that gives him more craft points at the cost of HP, it's like the perfect quartz for him. <clears throat> oh right, I have to buy some more photo quartz. Excuse me. Okay, um, well, thanks for your help. Oh, I didn't do anything. I was just supposed to check up on the information from the editors. Well, uh, try and cheer up, okay, Tita? Uh, I will. Uh, thank you, Miss Dorothy. Don't worry, I'm sure that Estelle and Joshua will crack this case and be able to help your grandpa. See you later. Mm. Tita, please don't look so sad. I'm sure your grandpa's just fine. Right, since he's one of the kingdom's foremost scientific minds, I, I can't imagine anyone's wanting to hurt him. I... you're right, he has to be okay. Huh. What's with that look? Nothing. Time's a waste, and let's go to the guild. You have impeccable timing. Oh, it's you. Oh my, Estelle and Joshua! I haven't seen you two in some time. You're doing well, I hope. Professor Alba, what are you doing in Zeus? Tell me you got an escort this time. Never mind that. We heard that there were, uh, we've learned the whereabouts of the criminals. This gentleman is a witness. An eyewitness, even. Huh? What? <laughs> well, I thought... I thought what I saw might be significant. Good then, I'm glad I came. Anyway, I've been doing field research on the tower up, up until a short time ago. You're talking about the one, one of the terrace, uh, silical towers, right? I, it'd have to be the Carnelia Tower, north of the Plains Road. Yes, and I saw several soldiers enter the structure. I initially thought them to be members of the Royal Army, but they seemed to be sticking to the shadows, and I heard them mention something about a kidnapping and an escape route. I was greatly unsettled by the whole matter, so I came directly here to tell what I saw. Those soldiers, what kind of uniforms were they wearing? 
Let me think. It was blue and white uniform. Very sharp looking. Just as one would expect from Her Majesty's native lands, even the military dresses stylishly. That's gotta be them. Come on, we have to hurry to Cornelia Tower. Right. Acknowledged. Uh, um. Please, take me with you. Tita. Well. Hey, run. Huh? There's no good reason for us to bring you along. Use that brain of yours for some common sense. But, but, Grandpa was kidnapped. I, I have to. Time is mirror, kid, so let me put it to you straight. You're just gonna get in the way. You stay behind. Huh? Hey, hold on a second. Where'd you get off talking to her like that? Oh, shut it. You know I'm right. We can't afford to pick up some amateur slack, much less a freaking kid. Well, Joshua, don't just stand there. Say something. I'm sorry, but I'm with him on this. It's not a chance in the world that those men aren't expecting us to be on their trail. As much as I'd like to have her with us, it's just too dangerous to bring her along. Joshua! <sighs> I'm sorry, Tita. I, I guess we can't take you. Estelle! Uh, how can you be so mean? Uh, Tita! Wait, Estelle. Leave her be, for now. The best thing we can do for her is save the professor. I know, but I just... Today, people. Kedlika, you can contact the army, right? Yes, may the fortunes of war smile upon you. It seems like something major is going on. Please take care of yourselves. Let's report when we've finished already. Any new contracts? No, but product testing is almost time. Put ingredients to us more time to do it, though. Alright, um, so I guess for starters, third floor, the library's on this floor, if I remember correctly. Uh, no. I do not remember correctly. Well. We need to go to the library and then also, uh, uh, whatchamaname-it, the place with the shoes. Good, no one got hurt. Alright, let's save real quick just to be safe. And then we got we gotta take off the shoes. We're here to report in, Terry. We're kind of in a hurry, so we'll have to make this fast. Ah, alright. Let me take a look at the shoes then. Hmm. Impressive, the soles are extremely worn down. It looks like that I selected poor material in its making. Yes, I'd call this a test a huge success. Ooh, thank goodness. So, does that mean the job's done? Yes, and I appreciate it. You've done me a great favor. Oh, hold on a moment. Weren't you a big fan of the Strega brand? I'd like you to have these, then. Beta Stregas. Are these what I think they are? <laughs> They're a reference copy of the new product line. We've already passed this phase of de uh, development, so we I don't need them anymore. <gasps> wow, thank you! I'll be looking forward to the next line of products. <laughs> I'll be sure to pass that on to my employers. Take care of you in your journeys. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Agate's just like, really? We stopped to get sh you shoes? And Stell's like, yes, we did. And they're awesome shoes. All right, um, so. Alright, so yeah, um, we got the woodpecker book, I just need to return it, but, where's, there's no lady here. Was it a different floor? Different room?
Have I gotten completely mad? Has has I have I finally entered menopause? Have I gone senile? Hello cat. Do I have dementia? Have I been struck by a, a memory forgetfulness curse? Have I reached the ripe old age of two? Just seems like they're not in the archives right now for whatever reason. Well, I don't know where that character might be at instead of the archives. So, uh, yeah. There's a part of me, so there's the limestone cave over there, which I'm very intensely tempted to go check out. But I'm gonna save that for later. Uh, let me just double check. That is not the guild. Alright, so we have medium on that, so there's plenty of time to go and actually do it. <laughs> All right, so the tower, we know where it is located. However, first things first, there's some chests to go and grab. Because there were a couple of red chests I didn't open. <clears throat> Having, li uh, like, trying to do it with with Tita as the third person is like trickier but like not impossible doing it with Agate is much more like he's just really strong so it will work out even better with him Got all the. Let me just check the central area now. I just got double, you know, double check and all that goodness. All right, then we'll head towards Wolf Fort because that's the way we need to go. I know there are like two red chests uh, that I ignored on this end of the uh, the region. So here we go. guys probably won't be that big of an issue if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah, the fact that they just decide to play wounds is one of the big factors in that. Because it says that they're charging, I don't even remember if it does anything for them. Oh, 
double kill. Yo, you were like, I would like to take a nap. And then my dude, I get over here like, nah, man. I smack you so hard, you stand up. Get out of here. Easy. Sapphire Talisman. Okay. Just you guessed it, it's empty. Alright, so yeah. Now we need to go to the other one. Here we go. Alright, once I'm already in a position like that... Alright, who are we targeting first? Fire. I might be able to finish this guy off. Yep, there we go. And arrow. Not a good person to get blinded. But still works. Well, you know. Petrified. Oh, you're already cured from being blind. Yo, double kill proc? That's bonkers. The grasshopper fled. <laughs> All right, let's get that those craft points up. Cause you'll just heal up as we go. There we go. Long barrel, which is a gun. You, uh, you, I think this is one of those you walked into the wrong neighborhood moments for this little, little, little munchkin. Alright. What's really nice is, it's been like, so long since I've played some of the, uh, the Cold Steel games where some of these characters are around again. That like I've already forgotten what their their like new v uh, VA sound like. I'm like, how do you go again? So this is Cornelia Tower. Are the kidnappers really holding the professor here? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, look at the big uh, jumble of footprints. If you need a hiding place, this would probably be a good place for it. Look out. Doggles. Konowanko-chan. Monsters! 
<laughs> As I expected. to basically all crafts, so... Oh, you have two now! Ooh. <laughs> oh, dang. It, you've got this one set up? I need to set up the other one. That that dog is dead. Set his uh, S craft. I missed. Very professional. I feel like. Hurricane is a lower damage multiplier than, like, uh, than Comet. Or I just, like, have a, am a bad gauge of damage. Alright, let's take a moment to exploit the system. Joshua's like, yo, where's Chloe? We need the Tirara. What are monsters doing like that? Uh, what are monsters like that doing here? Oh, maybe. They're tied to somehow to the men in black. They're guide in one. They've probably been trained for combat by our little friends in black. Trained? Ever since I started checking out these guys, I've gotten attacked by monsters constantly. Ain't no way that's a coincidence. I see. So that means that the checkpoint up in the mountain pass was attacked because you were there? I guess. It was the old man who assigned me to this gig in the first place. Ain't like it's been a night uh, at a strip club for me either. A strip club, huh? How very... you. Anyways, uh, that reminds me, uh, G uh, John, uh, Jean mentioned something about that, right? Care to share some details? He showed up just before, uh, that whole Sky Bandit, uh, mess started and dumped it on me. Said something about some crap coming up that he really couldn't wait for. An easy job, he said. Oh, man's always playing innocent. That's so very dad. After a little couple of run-ins with them, there's no way I'm giving anyone else the satisfaction of catching them. I especially want to get that one little... Ugh. Huh? Wh which would be whom? Never mind. Let's just arrest these guys and rescue the professor. Alright. Um... I get your... Your healing power... Or rather, your, uh... Your EP matters like zero. So, um, alright. So, I need to take a brief moment to sip away and take care of something. It's probably gonna take like five to ten minutes. Uh, so, I'm gonna leave you on the be right back screen.
We'll let the uh, music continue to play. Just to be safe. Hold on a second. And uh, I'm I'm saving again because I, I you could never save enough. All right, but yeah, uh, we will. I will be back in a. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna set the, the tactics real quick. Uh, hello, I. I can. I am impatient person. Uh, I, 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 I'm all over the place. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit.
All right, I'm back. Look at this man. He's wearing two belts. I, I don't know why he needs two of them, but I mean, I guess it's working for him, so yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's head on in. So we already started exploring here before and was having a, a rough time just because of how, what's your name, how squishy Tita is. <laughs> So, it's, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, hoping Agate will be able to, uh, fix that little problem. There we go. Thankfully, when we get an ambush on <coughs> an enemy like this, where it'll be really easy to just go and kill them outright, you can take advantage of that to go and build up some more craft points for him. Should have done that. <laughs> Rex, what are you barking about? He's like, I sense danger. Behold, the final days. Alright, we got some what, squid and some uh, a flock of balls of like cotton. Alright, well, good to know that one hit's enough. Uh, yeah. Those things are squishy. Let's set up a art. Stab ourselves real quick. There we go. And bada bing, bada boom. This monster has met its doom. Alright. So, yeah. Just walking about. I, I forget how much of this place I've gone and explored. I know I didn't go on for a massive amount. Okay, I did see that spot at the very least. Let me just double check out there. Yeah. Kill the bird. Probably smack two of them. Oh, I can smack all three of them. Let's go. Agate is having none of their nonsense. Alright. 
one more good uh, self stab for good measure. Terra bomb. It's empty. You only have yourself to blame. Let's use one of the uh, recipe eat items that we've got. Because even though I've been collecting the recipes, I haven't actually made any of the stuff afterwards. Alright, so that way is just to go and get one chest, and that's it. So then this way is progress. Mm. Alright, so... Dead end. Dead end. Fourth floor. Dead end. Dead end. Cross over. And get attacked by a tentacle man. Kill the tentacle man for 20 damage in a single strike. I s hmm. No stone cold. It's like. I have a good, like, I'm maxed out on craft points for Sestel, but it's also like, I don't, it's not in the situation yet, where I feel like I need to throw them out yet. Yet, yet, yet. And... Bonk. And let's take care of you. There we go. Alright, so da 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 goes up with two dead ends which leads to burp. Yeah, because we have a trail of people, dodging those can be kinda tricky because it's like you can't just go like boom a mile the way. Because sometimes it's more like you take a step and then everyone else falls behind. Alright. This is a good opportunity for... Hurricane. I'll take it. Can Flame Smash hit both? It cannot. Alright. Then we eliminate... Neither. In fact, both. Cannot defeat the power of our jazz background music. It gives us strength to fight against the darkness. All right, uh, all the way around to a down the chest. Uh huh. And over here is uh, a whole bunch of no thank you. Uh, let's take the down first. See what's up. Oh, th so this is just that section again. Uh oh. Alright. Can I get you and both? Nope. Straight line is so limited. Alright, we'll knock you back. And. Flame smash? Flame smash. Man, I love Agat so much. You just are such a strong character. And I love his characterization as well. Here. 
So, what's my name? It. My um, I've mentioned beforehand that I've been playing uh, Skyrim, not Skyrim, uh, Morrowind again recently, and uh, I basically just kind of went in and bodied the the like main story uh, content in that. There we go. Let's let them pass by. Um, like. Even though I did it first, because the way I play involves me, like, exploiting a bunch of people's valuables to steal a bunch of items to then go about, uh, like, leveling up really fast. By the time I fought Dagoth Ur, I, I had a, a Daedric short sword, or sorry, no, a Daedric dagger, even, that I had upgraded, um... But I enchanting with a use like ice damage spell that more or less enabled me to just go up to him and go like boop, 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 and he was like dead in a matter of moments. It it was it's kind of weird just because I remember back when I played that game significantly as a kid, all of the stuff around Red Mountain and Dagoth uh Ur and all that other stuff was like, not only was it like scary, but it was also like, this is impossibly difficult, I can't handle this kind of deal. So, there's just something satisfying about, like, I am now super broken, super quick, and I have gone and obliterated you. That's that Let's move it. <clears throat> In fact, like, you know, I'm, I'm basically now going and doing, like, all the rest of the content. Uh, which, you know, it, with it being a, an Elder Scrolls game, you can imagine, like, the whole, like, oh, go go and do a bunch of faction quests, like, uh, here's the Mage's Guild, the Thieves' Guild, and whatnot. Um, but I'm basically doing it as a character who's already, like, super built. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh... <laughs> Shankly, I, I went and uh, I, I, I have like um, a, an exquisite necklace with a permanent uh, like, it's like 20 something percent uh, chameleon on it. And then I also have a really high sneak and a uh, chameleon like use item. So I can just steal from directly in people's faces. One of the one of the things that I, I realized in this playthrough that I hadn't noticed before, which I'm kind of surprised, was the fact that a lot of... Like, Morrowind has a bunch of quests where it's like, yo, go here and kill this dude. Yeah, no, absolutely. But, like, it, there'll be points where it's like, hey, go here and kill X or whatever. Um, and because I opted to... Like, I have such a high speechcraft and personality stat. Um, rather than running the risk of, like, oh no, I've gone and murdered you, and the guards have put a bounty on my head, I could just walk up to them, taunt them a couple of times, and then they're like, you and blah, and just, um, like, annihilate them with no penalty. I actually started, uh, because I went and made a health regeneration ring, that's like, it's only like five points, but like, that's all you need. Um, I, I like, have been training up my weaker atta uh, skills, attack skills on, uh, what should I name it? The freak, on like the guards in, in Mornhold. Cause they, they're really beefy, have like, and, and they use potions. So it's like, oh hey, look, H hello, uh, guard man, what's up? And he's just like trying to like smack me over and over again. I actually still need to do the Morag Tong. I, I, with the last thing I, my character was doing is uh, was uh, finishing up. Like, I've been working with the uh, House Hila 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 how however it's pronounced it's like you, you know which one I'm talking about um, and I'm it's like 
I basically did all the quests, and then it's like, you need to do your stronghold. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Um, so I've been doing other factions while I wait on all the timeline stuff with that. Um, I basically went and, like, did most of the Thieves Guild stuff while waiting on, like, one stage of the... Ooh, Tactory. While waiting on one stage of that that whole little... of, of building up your stronghold. Because of how long it takes. Um, which I, I got, like, a little bit of a kick out of. I basically have... Uh, I have myself sitting at the point where I've gone and... Uh, like, the last thing I need to do with the Thieves Guild is take out the Fighters Guild Master. But I'm going to just sort of, like, chill on that until I, like, and go and do, like, the Fighters Guild quests until I get to a point where, like, that is, where, like, either I get to the Master thing there, if I can, or just simply, like, move on. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. I I really love the Telvanni aesthetic, um, in general. Like my like being able to like have levitate and whatnot uh, does a lot for making those uh those places a lot more accessible. But there's also a certain sort of charm to like exploring this really weird area as somebody who like can't fly. It's like ah, I I see the world as you know, the rest of the mortals do. But yeah. I... I, d I feel like... Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I, I'm really looking forward to trying out the Morag Pong, because I don't think I ever really did that one as a kid. And, oh no, they called a backup. This is not good. Um... I just wish that, like, more people were, like, like into it, you know? I, I don't think I could expect, like, a modern-day audience to really get behind it because of uh, how janky some of the, the older systems can be. Which is a shame. Like, so many of the good ideas it, uh, from, like, other, like, action fantasy games came from Morrowind. And, you know, yeah, combat is different. I feel like, I feel like it's, it's those two things. The graphics, people look at this and they're like, oh my goodness, what is that? And then the other big thing is people go and look at like, I'm in this face, I'm swinging my weapon, why isn't it hitting? Like, I feel like that is a big, uh, like, thing that people would get, get upset with. And it's funny because, like, it's it's literally um, a systems knowledge issue. Because if you, like, if you go and, like, the, the point where people go and they're like, oh no, I can't hit anything, is usually, like, very early in the very beginning of the game. You probably aren't even using a weapon that you're, like, per that you, like, set yourself into. Um... Because, like, if you go and, like, start out with, like, a, a race and class combination that get, uh, that focuses on a particular type, like, by the time, like, you start the game, you know, if you're, like, a lance user or whatever, right, you can go and grab a lance, and you're gonna have over 50, like, spear points. Especially if you do something like blade or whatnot, you know? So, it, it's one of those, like... Hey man, this is not as complicated of an issue as you're making it out to be. I haven't played Kingdom Come, De uh, Come uh, Deliverance at all. Um, I heard really good things about it, but it's it's one of those things where, yeah, it, it's it's like, isn't it also like very realistic with a lot of its systems? Yeah, Octavian Stave. That must be for Estelle. Yeah, I, I, I definitely would be down to going and trying that out at some point. Um, Cause it, for me, it, it's like I don't have a problem with realistic systems. 
It's just I have to be in like a specific mood for it. Yeah, oh, armor color. That's interesting. So does it is it sort of like a Metal Gear Solid uh, 3 where like the different camos will go and have like different things they blend in and obviously like different system but same kind of concept. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 oh. Get out of here, bird. I think it turned at the very last. It did. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, it's still, like, really good. Honestly, I feel like if, if we were to get, like, the perfect Elder Scrolls game, it would basically be, like, a combination of... Dark Souls and Thief. If you've played either of those games, obviously Dark Souls is like needs no introduction. But I don't know if a lot of people have played Thief at all. Um, but like, if you had like a more actiony, like fulfilling combat system, it doesn't have to be like the as like Dark Souls exactly. But that that's a good example of like. Uh, of like being able to go and like have your actions have meaningful like impact in combat and the difficulty not just be like this enemy has bi big number of HP and that's it. Uh, Thief, it's definitely like in that range of, of being accessible but also inaccessible at the same time in that like anyone can go and pick up the games on off of Steam. I own most of the games on Steam but it's again from that like early PC game area where if you could easily get turned off from the gameplay uh, or the art uh, of the game, you know, that all those kind of little things. So like it doesn't surprise it, like I feel like it would it's I would love for more people to go and play it, but I'm also like guilty of a lot of this when it comes to actually sneaking. Um, like, it's, you know, it's got the, like, the light level stuff. Sound is a very big element in it. Um, there's a lot more reactive uh, NPC, like, guards in there. And it's also, um, like, it's also got interesting, like, ways to go and deal with issues of, like, the sound and the light and whatnot. Like, you've got water arrows for putting out torches specifically, for example. And yeah... That I feel like with a new with a new franchise, I typically like, will have to go and see somebody else play through the first little bit of it, or at least hear some really good word of mouth before I'm willing to like pick up something new. The only exception to that are like specific indies. Like my Steam uh, suggestions is actually pretty well tailored to my own taste at this point. Uh, so, tip, like, if I get a lot of, uh, like, if I see, like, a good Metroidvania, for example, that shows up in there, I'm usually like, yo, let's go. Like, I've got, like, uh, I picked up one, I can't, I don't remember its name off the top of my head, and I'd have to, uh, get out of the game to see it, but, um, but I've got, like, another Metroidvania waiting for my just personal enjoyment later. And yeah, um, I tried to play Deus Ex, like, the original one back in the day, but had the, the whole, like, uh, the same kind of issue we've been talking about happen, where, like, it's really old in the graphics, and it's harder to get into. Um, I, I played a ton out of the, the, the newer ones, like, uh, Human Revolution and, uh, the one that had microtransactions. Um, yeah, I, the new ones are really great, um, and I I feel like beyond the whole like I never asked for this meme like there's a lot that it has to offer that uh, kind of gets like ignored like the two big game styles I I tend to really attach myself to are usually like games with like a big sort of like an, where a sneaking component is in there and then RPGs. That's part of the reason why, like, most of my, like, 
original, like, first playthroughs in Elder Scrolls games are, are as, like, sneaky characters. Um, same with, like, similar type stuff. Like, uh, if you've ever heard of Kingdom of Amalur, uh, uh, I believe that's what its name is. It's like Kingdom of Amalur, like, Reckoning. Um, that's a game that uh, I played back in the day that had a really fun, like, combination mixing thing of between, like, the three of uh, like fighting styles that I like immediately was like, yo, I'm sneak man. Let's go. So, Let's move out. Cavalier Killer. I feel like this is a weapon for Agate. It is. An Eastern Sword, the height of a man using a sword. Yo, is he freaking using the. It's Is that Sephiroth's sword? It's an Eastern Sword, which so it's a katana, and. The, the kind of sword that that Sephiroth uses was intended for, like, taking out, like, the, the legs of horses in combat. If I remember my, like, dumb random video game trivia off the top of my head. But yeah, the, um, sneaking is really, like, a fun thing when done in games. Uh, this game, no. I am a veteran, like, diehard fan of this franchise. Um, and this is a game in the series. So, I'm just enjoying, like, I play through this, this series every now and then. And so, I, since I started streaming, or I got the, I wanted to start streaming, I figured I would stream through the, uh, these games in order. So, their the Legend of Heroes games have a lot of really fun like storytelling and the RPG combat is pretty good as well so here they are <laughs> finally we've got you cornered what bracers damn guild dogs you just won't let it go will you getting out of the, the town using those disguises was pretty impressive I'll admit but your end game was pretty weak you may not have thought anyone would actually come here, but no such luck. My favorite character in this is Estelle, uh, the main character. She's really well written and has, especially in once we see her in the sequel, is just a really strongly well written character. That like is, I, I feel like she's like super likable and easy to empathize with. Um, after after that, it would probably be Agate, the red-headed guy over here. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's always that's always fun whenever that happens. Now, how about you play nice and just let Professor Russell go free? Hmm. In accordance with the laws of Bracer Guild, you're hereby placed under arrest. It's too bad we couldn't find the guy in that stupid mask. But I, I think you'll tide me over. Don't mock us! We'll cut down anyone getting in our way. Yeah, I actually wish that the franchise had stuck with having a female protagonist longer. Because while Lloyd Bannings and Reen Schwarzer are, are not bad protagonists, it, like, it, it definitely sort of changes, the, like the writing is a little bit different once they started having, like, went from being a, like, having the female focus, the female lead sort of, like, mindset and narration and whatnot, to, like, your generic anime boys. Like, I love Reen and Lloyd, but, like, Reen especially is a step in the whole, like, I am, you know, the, like, protagonist man that anyone can insert themselves into kind of deal. These guys hit way harder than I thought they would. Estelle's built as a tank, too! Uh-oh. You know what? Try and take one of them down, Agate. I need it. Otherwise, we're dead. Yo! <laughs> he needs to, like, get out of here. It's not gonna matter though. These guys hit so hard. All right, let's try this again. 
we're going to lead with the S break. It's not going to be as strong because it doesn't have the crit, the guaranteed crit on it, but it's still, still going to be a good chunk. We need to take some of these some of these out immediately. And yeah, SE is probably my like. If you if I were hard pressed to be like, what is your favorite RPG? SC would probably be in the top three. Like, there are very few games that can top it, in my opinion. Laura is my answer. Um, I, like, always Laura. Um, I, w second place is Emma, um, and then Fee. Uh, and then, like, Sarah. Um, Laura, to me, is, like, like, really cool and has the most, like, uh, like, I feel like she and Reen could go and, like, live a very engaging life with one another. Emma is a really good, like, pick for number one as well, to be honest. Like, like, there's a reason why she's my number two. Like, I feel like uh, Emma cares more about uh, Reen than, like, any other character in the cast. Like, hands down. If you look at, like, the stuff that she does and the way that she, like, puts, uh, like, you know, puts herself in the story, her relevance in the story compared to a lot of the other characters. Like, I love Laura, but beyond, like her, you know, teaming up with Fee and her dad being, like, the god of swords incarnate and whatever. Um, not literally, but basically literally. Um, like, like, <laughs> like, Elisa is, like, the, like, the bottom of, like, characters who should be the main girl in that, in those games. Just because, like, I mean, the Sundere trope is so old, but I hate, and, and like she does get past it and whatnot. But like, it's I feel like Japan is like has a way different appear uh, opinion on that character type than the West does. Why did you miss? No. These guys are so fast. Have you, uh, uh, here's my question for you, uh, Shankly. Have you played any of the, uh, the, the games, uh, in Japanese before? Like, there are, like, either reading them in Japanese or using a fan translation. <sighs> Damn bracers! But have you forgotten about our prisoner? You guys are unbelievable! Don't you ever know when to give up? You wanted to use Professor Russell's intellect, right? Are you really willing to harm him? Shut up! Is that really a chance you take? What a bunch of whiners. Just admit you lost already. The Royal Armed Forces have been mobilized. There's nowhere for you to hide. <laughs> What's so damn funny? Oh, nothing. It's just that we had the thought you were competent for a second there. And so, it's almost time. What? Huh? Estelle, look out! I hear it! Of course it's an airship. Cheaters! Shit, where's the trump card? That was their trump card? <laughs> now the shoe's on the other foot. Though we'd gladly have killed you all here, we're di we've never in uh, intended for you bracers to get involved. If you just held your tongues and observed, you may have es you may escape with your lives. Yeah, so, I, so I'm graduating on the 11th with a degree in Japanese uh, language and then a minor in business administration. Uh, so I can understand the Japanese at like a decent level when I'm uh, like uh, the, the biggest like kanji is a nightmare abomination of a language. But like I can usually play through it raw without a translation with uh, and get the general gist of what's going on. Um, I played through three four and four like all the way through uh in japanese first before they came out because it was like 
I finished two and was like, I need more. I need more. When is more? And I just sat down and uh, was like three and four are out in Japan. I need them. And I just imported them. Uh, I started to play Hajimari no Kiseki, which is the game after four. And I'm about 60% of the way through it. But then like school slash life slash COVID happens. So I kind of just got pushed to the side. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool that you lived in China for a while. It's it's always great to be able to sort of like expand your horizons beyond like the scope of your own country. But yeah, I'm I'm like soup. There's there's the only thing stopping me from going and importing uh, Kurono Kiseki, which came out like this past month, is the simple fact that like I have other things I need to be doing, and I still need to finish Hajimari no Kiseki. So it's like. I'm barely managing to contain myself because, like, every time Calvert is mentioned in this game, I'm like, Kuro no Kiseki, we're finally going to Calvert. I need, I need it. <laughs> what? Now no, listen, you jerks. Estelle, I think we should do what they say. What are you saying? Play, playing things by the book here is just going to leave us open. The second they make a move with the professor, we rush them. Okay. Looks like you've given up. <laughs> a wise decision on your part. Now, if you'll excuse us. Now. No! What? Who's the kid? Tina? Damn it, she followed us? Let my grandpa go, or else you're gonna get be in big trouble. Whoa. Don't get cocky, you little brat. Uh. Oh, no. Tina! Ah! Ugh. Heck it! Heck it! Hey, what the heck are you doing shooting at a little kid? Especially with that test model! S sorry, I, I thought she was going to take out the ship. Forget about it, now pull back, we're getting out of here! Hey! Wait a second! Grandpa! Yeah, Tita is also in my top favorite characters, especially in this game. I love seeing her growth between the franchise. I just kind of wish that they didn't, like, ship her with Agate is the thing. Like, he's, like, 26 in this game, and she's, like, 10. Like, I... Like, I can understand people being, like, like wanting to see them being a couple. But for me, it's hard to get past the age difference on that one. Like, I know some people who have been, like... Oh my goodness, Estelle and Joshua, they're step-siblings. Why, why is this story leading with, like, incest or whatever? Though, you know, obviously it's the whole, like, not really like by blood thing. Um, and I can understand some people being, like, they were they were raised like siblings and whatnot. Uh, yeah, romancing Altina just feels wrong because she's so emotionally reliant on you. It's the same thing as, like, people wanting to go and date Futaba in Persona 5. It's like... I understand why you want to date Futaba. She's a gamer girl. Most people are really into that. But Futaba is so like heavily emotionally reliant on you in the same way Altina is that like if you if the player character were a scumbag or like treated did basically anything bad like you know Futaba and Altina would basically like have no other real recourse because the main character is like the only person that they're really like super crazy attached to. Altina's a little better because it, she, it, um, her like connection, like she has like other family that like she's connected with really strong. Um, but like Futaba especially is a oh boy. T Tita. All right, for now we should return to Zeus and regroup. We need to report into the guild about that airship. Right. Tita, I, I know you're hurting. <laughs> Why? Why'd they have to take him? It's so mean. Why? Hey, Runt. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a second. I told you before. You just get in our way if you followed us. You being here is what screwed up our shot at rescuing the old man. Are you planning to accept responsibility for that? 
I... I... I never meant... Plus, your little stunt with that pea shooter wound up putting your own life at risk. Nothing gets on my nerves more than kids like you, who can't resist poking around where they have no business. I... I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Hey, don't be... You don't have to be so mean. Hell, her grandpa was just kidnapped. Why do you think I said all that? Hey, kid. While you're still wailing away, have a listen. <laughs> are you okay with things as they are? Are you going to accept that you j just can't help your granddad and give up? <laughs> okay. Then shape up and get some courage. You can cry and scream all you want, but first you gotta learn to stand on your own. Learn to take care of yourself before you run off trying to rescue others. <laughs> if you can't do that, then don't you ever get in our way again. You can just crawl into bed, pull the covers over you, and cry like a baby. Hell, that'd probably be the best thing for all of us. Tita, I'm... I'm okay, Estelle. I, I can stand up for myself. <laughs> Deeds, not words. I, I'm really sorry. It's my fault that these men, those men got away. Goofball, you don't have to apologize. Right, we're just glad you're alright. Thank you both. Um, Mr. Agate? What? Before you start your griping, just remember, I'm not a complaint department. Um, thank you for saving me before. And, and che for cheering me up. I wasn't trying to cheer you up. It's called discipline for a whiny brat. Uh, okay. You were just crying, so why are you grinning at me now? Damn crazy kid. <sighs> you really ought to learn to accept someone's gratitude when it's offered. I think you're just like being... I think you just like being difficult. No, I think it's more of a matter of him being shy. Ooh, that makes sense. <laughs> well, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, shut up. <sighs> yeah, if you are really big a big fan of RPGs, I would recommend checking out Persona. It's it's very mainstream, so uh, most people will just will go and give you like a be like, oh yeah, it's really amazing. You need to play it. It was really motion move, no, you know the, how, that whole shtick. Um, so like, I the best way I could sum it up without saying anything about the game is that it lives up to a lot of the like praise people give it. So whatever, we should head back to the guild. It seems to me that those guys have some kind of boss who's calling the shots. I don't like it, but I think we're going to need the military's help. Yeah, you're probably right. Best if we hurry, then. And now, we have to make our way all the way back down the tower. Please do not murder me, birds. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, it's kind of funny. One of my reasons for wanting to stream this game was just because, like, I know that the uh, Trails franchise doesn't get a lot of, like, public exposure. Um, and so it's like, I like this game. I want to stream it so more people can see it. But the what's funny is that pretty much uh, most of the people who pop in and are like, oh, you know, you're playing this game, uh, have been people who are like, oh, have you? is this your first time playing? Like, you know, what's your experience with the game? And... You know, when I tell them that I've played it before, we get into, like, a discussion about the characters and, and uh, events and, and whatnot. I've, I've, there have been some people who are like, oh, this seems like a really interesting RPG. Like, I had actually had one person who's like, hey, I'm looking to buy games for, like, the Vita or whatever, right? Like, I want to get something. I'm like, well, this game is on the PSP, as like where it's originated from. I think you can probably get it on the Vita, and it's also in the Steam. Like, it... It, it's just kind of like an interesting sort of way things turn out sometimes. <laughs> What's wrong? It's nothing. Just felt a little dizzy for a sec. Ah, maybe from when you protected me earlier. <laughs> That's right. You did get shot, but I thought you blocked it. Just a scratch. It's no big deal. But it's my fault. <laughs> Listen, I got, I've got, I get, I get worse injuries from this from just shaving. Now quit fussing and let's just get back to Zeus. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like 
I feel like that's passion is probably the best word I could use to describe the Trails games. Like, it it really gets a rise out of the people who who like let themselves get carried uh, off by the world and the characters. Like, <clears throat> I feel like with a lot of instances of companies going in like, oh, we're gonna make a massive epic tale that exp that follows multiple games. Uh, it's like, oh man, that's okay, but whatever. I don't need to hear about the the eight games covering the adventures of Midgard or of you know, like we don't need every single uh, like Final Fantasy it doesn't need to like fall after one another or the tales and whatnot. Like, but with the the world of Zamuria and you know and the trails, like it's it's like it's like having a, a that one book series that you're super engaged with and you're like I, I need the next entry I need the next book I need to read it I need to read it like that that kind of passion I got back when I was a kid reading Harry Potter for the first time or when I uh, uh, was really getting into like Pendragon and whatnot um, cross code I haven't heard of that before what's what's cross code don't I know you? Huh? We met you on the way back from Elmo. Ah! And I did appreciate you helping me on my way. I must say, it seems more than a mere happenstance that we meet again on the road. <laughs> you may be right. By the way, uh, did you make it to the hot rings in Elmo, sir? Indeed I did, but please, there's no need to be so formal. Oh, but it does seem to be my first meeting with your friend there. Ah, he seems a bit green around the gills. Is he well? Huh? Ugh. Whoa, what's with your face? Agate? Shut it. I, I said I'm fine. Ugh. Ah! Eh? What's wrong with him? One sec. Joshua thumbed Agate's eyelid back. No good. His peepers are starting to dilate. I think there may have been something on that bullet. You mean, he's been poisoned? Uh, hmm. That appears to be the case. The pupil dilation could be an indicator of some kind of botanical neurotoxin. You're probably right. I can't be sure, but I think his life may be at risk if we don't get him some help. N no! Enough talk. Right now we need to have to get him to a doctor. Tita, is there one nearby? The, the central factory! There's a clinic on the fourth floor! Alright, then please show me the way there. I will carry the young man. Uh, are you sure? My body is well suited to this kind of task. Let me handle the heavy lifting. And besides, we appear to be in the same business. But we are. Oh, okay. I've, I've played a couple of games where it's like inside an MMO, like, but you know, it's still a single player game. I'll have to check it out though. Like... Considering we share a bunch of opinions on stuff, like, I, 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 I'm I more than willing to take game suggestions. You mean, I have yet to introduce myself. I'm Zin Va, uh, Va, 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 I'm Zin Vatek of the Calvert Republican. Rep Republican. Calvert Republican. I cannot read. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, Bracers of Liberal. Let me actually take a moment. Uh, pardon the, the sound disappearing. I'll go and, like... Uh, I'll, I'll like pull up the the steam page right away okay all right um I'm good I'll see uh I'll, I'll keep an eye on it I feel like because the 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 fall sale is going to be like any moment practically like probably once Thursday has is been dead and buried and Friday comes around like like the entire library is just gonna be on sale so <clears throat> I'm I'm okay with puzzles as long as they're not like 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 a good example the the if you ever played uh, Twilight Princess the uh, the puzzle where you're trying to get the master sword but you have to jump around and like the dudes are moving in like this uh, like it's, it's like a jumping block puzzle. Uh, that kind of stuff is like I can do it, but it's super long and tedious, and I'm better off just looking up a guide. 
Like, if it's, it's stuff like that, then that usually turns me off, but most puzzles aren't like that, though. I am pleased to meet you, Bracers of Liberal. I get you just joined our party again. First things first, we have to perform first aid. It looks like some unique form of neurotoxin. My usual array of antidotes won't work on something like this. Um, what's going to happen to him? Well, he's a fighter, so I think he'll manage to hold out. But in all likelihood, the longer he stays... Oh, thanks for the follow. The longer he, he stays in this coma, the greater the risk of death. Oh boy. I... <laughs> I'll still try it out, but uh, I I might end up, if you're saying it's that complicated, I might just end up looking up a guide. Um, no. Joshua. Sorry I took so long. I had to report into Kilika. She passed the info on to the military, so if anything comes up, we should find out soon. Well, thank you. Hey, where'd Zin go? Apparently, he and Kilika know each other. They had a lot to discuss. I see. Well, they're both Easterners. So, how's he doing? Um... Not so well, then. Unfortunately, I'm not so well versed in poisons that I can counteract the effects without knowing the ingredients. But Father Vixen might be able to help. Huh? Fa Father Vixen? Um, he's a priest in Zeus. He's built up a substantial knowledge of medicines by tapping the Septium Church's millennium-old archives. He's particularly learned in pharmacology. He may be able to devise some form of remedy to counteract the poison's effects. Uh, I get it. The priest in, in Roland is also really good with that kind of stuff. It's certainly worth asking about. It's late, but let's see if going to the church will net us anything. Okay. This is kind of a <clears throat> like an off tangent, but one I'm really hoping that uh, 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 by the that. By the time the Crossbell games are officially released in the states, like I think like next year, that I will pro that, that I'll be at those games. But I know I'm going to probably still be in SC by that point. Yeah, you get uh, you get some good rest. I uh, uh, what's my name? I play a lot of RPGs and as well as like Pokemon and whatnot. So it'd uh, be fun to go and chat with you some more about uh, about uh, trails. So you have a good night. <sighs> well, let's go and check in at the, not the guild. Thank you. Let's check in at the church. Cheetah, what brings you here at this time of night? Oh, Father, please help us save Agate. What do you mean? Um, Tita, calm down for a second. Father, you, you see. One second. There we go. Joshua explained Agate's poisoning and the details of the poison itself. I see. Hmm, this is troubling. Is there anything you can do? Thankfully, we have treatment here at the church for vir uh, virulent nerve toxins. It doesn't nullify the poison, but it does boost the patient's immune system so that he can better fight off the effects on his own. Sister Kiera, you're familiar with the medicine I refer to? I am, but the ingredients... You're out of ingredients! What do you need? Where can we get it? The Muriel Moss is what we've called it. It's a species of bioluminescent uh, plant. It should go grip, uh, grow deep in the limestone cave inside Chaldea Tunnel. We've sent bracers to collect it in the past. The Chaldea Tunnel. We went there. Uh, we went through there when we came here to Zeus. This should be a snap. Let's go find some of this Zemurian moss. What? You two? Yes, Father. My two friends here are bracers. I see. That makes things easier. At any rate, go back to the guild and talk to the staff before going to the limestone cave. There might be some record from earlier collection trips. Got it. Let's go. <sighs> Actually, I think this might be a good time to stop as well. My, uh... <laughs> I have to take care of my, my brother uh, tomorrow, which is going to involve me waking up in about five and a half hours. Ah, you're back. Zen, I didn't know you were still here. Thanks for carrying Agate earlier. We're in your debt. 
could think nothing of it. Always glad to help a friend. So, how is Agate's condition? Well, Joshua relayed what they knew about Agate's current condition in the Vathasamurian Moss. Then that he is in greater danger than I had imagined. If you need Zamurian Moss, one moment while I check the information the church supplied. Hmm. Ah, uh, here we are. It can evidently be found in the northwestern area of Chaldea Limestone Cave at the shore of the underground lake. Northwest Limestone Cave, underground lake. Got it. You may as well put it in the notebook. I heard it said that the monsters in that place are quite strong. The last time the guild dispatched bracers to gather moss, a team of four veterans were sent. F four veterans? Gathering the moss isn't going to be an easy task, then. In that case... As a, ah, I suggest you take this gentleman with you. Er. <laughs> hey, I can can I please finish what I was going to say? Oh, do you not wish to accompany them? Uh, no, I didn't say that. Oh, never mind. You're just as frustrating to deal with as ever. <laughs> you flatter me. Well, I wasn't intend it wasn't intended as flattery. Um, are you going to come with us then? Yes, it would seem that the path that destiny indicates. I'm setting off to Grantsville tomorrow, but I can certainly accompany you until then. That's plenty of time. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, excuse me. I don't suppose I could come? Huh? I, I know that sometimes I slow you down, but I get hurt because of you protected me. I feel like I have to do something to help. Tina. Hey, Joshua, what do you say? Can we take her with us? Please! Do I have a choice? Okay, Tina. Do you promise to let us take the lead and not do anything rash? Uh, I promise. That's enough for me. Do you mind, Zen? It's fine by me. Good to have you with us, little one. Thank you, sir. Well, if it's all settled, then let's get to that limestone cave. First, we'll have to take the Chaldea Tunnel from the central base factory basement. All right. <clears throat> and we now have the final party member of this game added to our team. Zin is a big boy and a strong boy at that, and I love him. He is amazing. Let me just double check some things. Yep, better, 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 yeah. All right. Oh yeah, let's turn in real quick. Grail locket. All right. Um. So yeah, Grail locket prevents all status effects except for KO. Basically, like God tier accessory. So, uh, do you sell a better go uh glove? No. All right, that's what I figured. Alright, then we are going to call it... Actually, let me just... Nah, we'll call it here. Um, and uh, thanks for coming by, everybody. <sighs> I think they're looking pretty serious, so... <clears throat> Next time, we will try and get the, what we need to make that antidote for Agate. So, I hope to find, see you all there. And it has been a pleasure. Take care, everybody. Good night.